we have received several requests on how to create a countdown timer in Blender, so in this quick tutorial, we'll discuss about countdowns using the geometry nodes. We can start with the default cube in Blender, and we will convert this cube into a timer, so let's go to the modifiers tab, and add a modifier called geometry nodes modifier. Then we have to pick up a geo node tree which is called countdown nodes. You'll get this node in the download file, and the free download link is given below in the video description. Once you append or copy this node tree, and open it in the geometry nodes editor, you'll get this kind of a complex node structure within this node tree. At the beginning we have some input fields, you can set your timer by changing these hour minute and second values. So let's go back once again to the viewport, and then for a quick operation, split this screen into two parts. We will open the geometry nodes editor here, and bring the input fields into focus. Based on these input values, we'll get the output timer in this viewport. Now, if you just need a simple timer, you can use the seconds field alone. So let's say if we enter 6 seconds, we'll get the number 6 in the timer, and the countdown will start from 6 if we run this animation. And currently we have a white emission material assigned to this. Please note that you may also need to change the value of this FPS, because it is the FPS that determines the speed of the countdown. So let's say if we change our FPS to 24, and then start this animation, we can see that the timer is counting down from 6. It will count down till 0, and once it reaches there, it won't change anymore. But instead of this simple timer, we can also use the hour or the minute values. And in that case, we'll get a timer similar to a clock. The only difference is, this clock runs backward, so we'll see the time go back. It will act just like a timer, with a real time value, and just like the previous case, it will count down until it reaches all zeros. Then we can also use an hour value, it will give us a countdown timer with three such components. But the best thing about this node tree is, it also gives us a boolean output, and the value of this output field will be set to true, as soon as the timer reaches zero. That means you can use this output as an attribute field, and drive your animation or the object properties. So in the next part, we will look at a quick example of how to use this output in another place, maybe in the shader editor. We are using two emission shaders here, and we are mixing them with a mix shader. If we set the mix factor to 1, we'll get a red material, otherwise it will look all white. But we want to drive this mix factor, based on the output of our geometry node, so let's give it a name like ABCD. Now we have to go to the add menu, and we'll pick up an attribute node and add it here. The attribute type should be geometry, and in this attribute name, we have to use the same name that we have used for the output of our geometry nodes modifier. And then we'll connect this FAC output to the mix shader. To test this setup, let's change the hour and minute to zero, with just a few seconds left, and run the animation. It will start a countdown towards zero, with a white material, and as soon as it hits zero, it will change to the red material. So this is how we can use the output of this node as an attribute, to drive any part of your animation. The attribute is anyway a byproduct, primarily this node tree creates a flexible countdown, with an optional clock-like time. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.